Mississippi's pro-life heartbeat law is on track to go into effect tomorrow. This comes after a judge ruled against a last-minute submission from the state's only abortion clinic. Jackson Women's Health Organization sought a temporary order to remain open. It's the same clinic which lost its case before the Supreme Court in the decision which struck down Roe v. Wade. Republican Governor Tate Reeves calls the ruling, quote, a great victory for life. The Biden administration is moving to overhaul Title IX. Since 1972, the measure has provided opportunities for women in education and sports. It prohibits sex-based discrimination in schools that get federal dollars. The White House wants to extend protections to include sexual orientation and gender identity. Republic Republicans say that will hurt women, especially in sports. Capitol Hill correspondent Eric Rosales reports. The Biden administration wants a change of measure, which lawmakers say has been part of the fabric of education. Republican Senator Tommy Tuberville, who coached at the high school and college level, says Title IX has opened the doors for women. And he's one of the people rejecting the White House's proposed changes. I've seen firsthand the success of what's happened to Title IX. Maybe one of the best kept secrets up here that's happened in this, in this building. Senator Tommy Tuberville adds there has been a 600 percent increase in scholarships for women's sports since Title IX became law in 1972. But the Biden administration's new rules would allow people to self-identify as female and compete in women's athletics, a plan Republican critics say alters the playing field. The Biden administration is working to redefine sex to include gender identity in the name of anti-discrimination. But this is discrimination against women, plain and simple. She adds that women and young girls will pay the price because they will be denied athletic scholarships and career opportunities. Others agree. Senator Tumberville, the former football coach at Auburn University, says Democrats have brought politics to the playing field. He worries women will miss out on life lessons from sports. Women are playing for second, third, and fourth. How can you give a post-game locker room speech or a halftime speech to a young lady knowing that she's not competing to win, she's competing for second? Republicans also say that ignoring biological differences between male and female athletes will be the end of women's sports. If they get their way in changing Title IX, you're going to end up with a team of men and a team of former men. The rulemaking process allows for public comment until the end of August. The Department of Education will have the final say on whatever changes will be made. Congress will also have to agree to any rule changes. At the Capitol, Eric Rosales, EWTN News Nightly.